Wala na ulit yung go. Oh, we inside, we inside, Blue Team Family. Ano na ulit yung up? No, no, no. Nice vibrations. And for Diamando, Jezan first. Jezan, this is the brand new Calorie Cogton Mafia. Black. Abby from England and Kemi, they got the gray. Yeah? So this is the official black on my head. <laughs> yeah? yeah? And Chica J is sporting the... Semexi. She's on a need to organize. You're taking too long. Yes. Right? So it's Burn Team Family. Real Talk Live on a Friday night. Yes. And we are bringing to you a very nice topic. Interesting. Yes. Informative. What's the topic for today? Body dysmorphia. So we have England on the inside. We have Canada on the inside. Big up Miss Gail. Smith, big up Jazan. Yes. And as the live is coming on, the topic for tonight today, body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. And what role it plays, man. <laughs> Yes. Is that the book to order? You want to order, eh? The things here on the Lord. When can me them see the eyes go that green? They go say, like, oh, come on, we didn't get it black, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so you can have two. You can have the gray and the black. Yes. So you all make sure to like and share so that people will see the life happening because tonight's discussion, it is, in, it will be interesting it will be informative and it's going to be you interesting. Know, big up, Abby, for being glad. Abby. Hi, Abby. No, it's time for to get it black. Eyes go that green. <laughs> the topic for today is body dysmorphia. And we're going to dive into the, the issues yes. people have when they look in the mirror. So, place in the comment section, people, what do you see when you look into the mirror? In the comment section, uh, Chica is gonna drop the as usual the WhatsApp. Yes, yes, I will. Yes, and you can call in or send in your WhatsApp as it progress. Abby from England, man. Jezan was on the button, Abby. Like, first. Yeah, she's really beating you all at it these yeah, days. Yeah, she know. quick, she quick, all this. She quick. I don't know. I don't know if she set an alarm or something. <laughs> Yeah, so Chica will be getting into the ins and outs. Any announcements before we start? So, announcements. Oh, Jason said she sees stretch marks. Don't worry, we go fix that. <laughs> right. So, announcements, announcements. Yes. Right. So, you all know, nutrition is very important. It plays, you know, what we will consider the most important role in our health and fitness journey. Yeah. Right, so you all are aware that we have Burnty Meals. We now offer Caesar salad, Papaya. tuna salad, and salmon, salmon fili, fili yeah. salad. Big so up Miss Bartholomew. Big up Miss Bartholomew. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. The tuna and the Caesar is $30. Only $30. No, Abby, you all, we cannot send it. To England as yet, we have not started the frozen good section of the company. And the salmon <laughs> is only forty dollars. And we still have your treat yourself breakfast. You can treat yourself any time. Hi, Zari. You are using your mother's profile. <laughs> Yes, so good night, Zari. So this is a use on the live, just using his mother's profile. Big up yourself, Zari. Big up yourself, Candice Can. We have Tobago in the house, we have Canada in the house, and we have England in the house, man. Yes, and other announcements. Aerobics is still on, <laughs> online. I'll be sending a voice note about the aerobics and, and the experience evening. with the aerobics. Yes, so we have that happening. 
And of course, you see calorie counting mafia gear. Abby. We have the leggings, we have the caps, we Abby. have the t shirts, and of course, the BT. And we have the new outside Smexi. So that she can give you all a little information on what Smexi is. All right, so Smexi is all about empowering women holistically, right? And we are taking you know, a stand where we are promoting stopping violence against women, right? So in order to be smexy, we must have, you know, something behind it. Not just, it's not about just a look. It's about what's inside, what the passion, what drives, yeah. what we are contributing to society. So smexy women are sassy, Right, because we need to be able to have some sass when we, you know, having a voice and advocating. Should the women have too much sass? <laughs> advocating for rights of women and girls, right? We have motivated. We need to be motivated every day. Yes, we know there will be ups and downs, but we are motivated. E, elegant. We need to look. You know, while we sassy, we are elegant with it, right? <laughs> so, ladies, feel free. Yes. Inbox us for your smexy. smexy. Z. We, we do have mm -hmm. a picture. We do have a picture competition. You know, so who gets, who gets the best picture might get something free from Burn Team. So we're looking for the most smexiest picture. <laughs> Ladies, yes. the most smexiest selfie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, so smexy is all about, you know, we are promoting you know the empowerment of women we are stopping violence against women not just by words but in deeds and there are different ways where we can actually empower women right so that's that's what it's about 90 percent of burnt team are women so yeah it fits it fits so the definition of body dysmorphia Right. So feel free <laughs> to place in the comment section what do you see when you look in the mirror? Yes. Place it. Don't be ashamed. Don't be, you know, shy. Yep. Place what you see when you look in the mirror. Do you even look in the mirror? That's, <laughs> yeah, that's what people don't even look in the mirror. Yes, yeah. there are persons who don't look in the mirror at all, right? I encourage persons to look in the mirror. Yes? It's, 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 nothing is wrong with it. Right, so earlier on we actually placed a test. It may not, it's not something that will, you know, gives you a diagnosis per se, but it will give you an idea of where it is you stand. So after doing the test, maybe if it is you realize that you fall into the category of having body dysmorphia, you can actually seek, you know, a proper diagnosis. Yeah? All right, so let's get into what body dysmorphia is. It is also known as body dysmorphic disorder. Let's get it a little slower. Right? Body dysmorphia is also known as body dysmorphic disorder. Oh, oh. Yeah? So what it really has to do with where persons have, right, a deep um sense of you know they perceive flaws they focus on perceived flaws or flaws that you know really cannot be seen by others for example for example <laughs> right some persons may think that their nose like bent they might see their nose you know nothing uh, but they see a little bend in the nose People look for flaws where there is just a minute scenario. So some yes. persons might have a little crookedness in the nose and they would see it's it looking like them. Real um, crooked. Like, like them witches and them from long time cartoons. Yeah. It's kind of bent up nose, yeah. Message board. So we have, um, I'll be saying, I see loads of luciousness. Yeah. But don't really look in the mirror, right? You so see loads of lusciousness. lusciousness. Yes. Lusciousness or lusciousness? Lusciousness. But don't really look in the mirror. Lush. <laughs> yeah, but she's saying that she doesn't really look in the mirror. So, Abby, you're going to send... You're going to send us a um, voice note on that. And so Jezan as well. Thing. Send a voice note. 
Kyla, send a voice note, ladies, send a voice note. What do you see when you look in the mirror? And sometimes you can look in the mirror, you can see good things. You may see things that you want to improve. Right? So the topic for today is body dysmorphia. So Chica will have the information that she has uh, prepared and seen yes. in preparation. Right? Yes. So you're gonna continue, right? So what persons do when they have body dysmorphia? They take a lot of time, you know, looking at themselves in the mirror. If you look at yourself in the mirror more than four times for the day or every reflection that you see, please see the comment section. We just want to know all these self-conscious. <laughs> every reflection. <laughs> you don't have ladies just be walking down the street are like a car that they don't have the glass. They're looking at all these look at all the rare ends a lot when they're walking. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, so please in the comment section, people, if you look at yourself a lot in the mirror, and if you do, tell us what you see when you yes, look at yourself in the, the mirror. mirror. Feel free to hit the share button and share the live on your social media. Yes. So, good night, Keisha. <laughs> they got Keisha Charles on the inside. All right, so what happens is because you spend so much time, hmm? you know, focusing on your perceived flaws, it may affect your day and it may also cause you to isolate yourself from others because you think people may laugh at you, um, you think people are focused on your flaw and, you know, talking about your flaw. Right, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Here we go. <laughs> These voice notes. I'll be here and you're watching Real Talk Live. It's luscious. Yes, I'm no I'm luscious. That is just my um, <laughs> way of keeping me confident. Nice. You know, <laughs> you know we women who have kids who stay at home out of shape. You know what I mean? A mm -hmm. lot of women fall into that category and um, how society looks upon women of us lusciousness. Lusciousness. You know, you would feel depressed and you know, you're like, you don't want to go outside, you want to hide. Hence the reason why. I don't really look in the mirror. But I give myself confidence because when I start to twerk in the mirror, hey, that lusciousness is out of role. Oh, so she, Trust me, and a lot so she, of women is trying to pay for that. Eh? So, I know I need a lot of work. <laughs> you know, for society to look at you as, you know, normal. But, I mean, this is what you get. And, 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 and I love me and I will work on myself. But I just love it as it go along. Right, so what, what we tend to... We have a lot of misconceptions of what... Women have a lot of pressure. Guys, we doesn't care. We sometimes we just don't care. A guy with a, like, a big stomach, he doesn't care. It's like whatever, yeah. but women tend to have a lot of emphasis on the way they look, and they are different. I mean, no, to me before, it was like a straight template of how society had a woman, but now we see in different shapes, sizes, weight classes, and love being shared for for yeah. for all sizes. Yeah. Right. But what I would always put forward is that you want to be healthy yeah so whereas now we are now highlighting voluptuousness is what we would call it you know the the thick ties and the you know the the glutes and you know we we, yeah. we tick we call it ticklicious yeah and and you know you want to be healthy mm -hmm. you know that is what we want to promote we don't want to yeah. promote your fit within a, a spectrum of the idealization of what society may think is smexy. You know, we want, we, we, yeah, we, smexy. right? <laughs> we want really to be the best you mm -hmm. and the best me we could be. Yes. You know we have an ideal weight we may need to be around to be healthy and we must try to keep that. Regardless of how the weight is this, this, you know, this person. Yes. Yeah? Big up the Shamil on the inside, much Good love. Night. Yeah? So, we have um, 
Miss Shamil, so all who come in on the live, place in the comment section when you look in the mirror, what do you see? So Keisha is saying that she does not really look in the mirror, right? But she loves herself very much. Why do you look in the mirror, Keisha? Right? Good night, Celeste. Hey, Celeste, you leave me out. <laughs> you leave me out, Celeste. Yes, Celeste, so tell us. The topic for today's body dysmorphia. Yes. Tell us, what do you see when you look in the mirror? Oh Lord, I'm waiting for that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Celeste is here, boy. Trouble Yo, in the I'm camp. dropping the number for WhatsApp again, right? And you're going to send a voice note on what you see when you look in the mirror. So, Abby said she sees lusciousness. Yes. Right? Chica, what do you see when you look in the mirror? Chica looks in the mirror a lot, eh, guys? Especially for these, these, these biceps these days. Yeah. But I don't understand. How. Yeah, she looking at actually biceps and triceps now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. She work for that. Uh, you understand? She know the pain. She know the pain. I, she I went through for that. I encourage <laughs> everyone to look in the mirror, right? I mean, some persons may say looking in the mirror be, may become depressing. It all depends on what you decide to see when you look at yourself in the mirror. Tero, 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 you fall asleep, boy. Big up Tero on the <laughs> inside. You fall asleep on that gate, boy. Celeste. Ah! Celeste. She Celeste. sees her boobs. <laughs> and she sees you all know what else. Yes? No, here we're going on. Big up. <laughs> Big up Celeste long time. Celeste, how the new addition coming along in? Give us no update. We need updates on the pregnancy. And um, big up V. Much love on the inside. Tero. Yes. So the topic for today is body dysmorphia. Big up Miss Bartholomew. And as Chica um, reiterated, those the breakfast, the salad bowls, is Miss Bartholomew is the is the chef at the point in time. Big up yourself, she works very hard. Much right. love and tenderness. Yes. So Sonali is seeing that she sees a sexy ish, ish. and devil ish. <laughs> ish. Bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will look at the um, rest of the comments. <laughs> yes. Well, I oh mean. Oh my gosh. What? That's a sad news. Condolences, Celeste. I mean, that's like real hard news to share on a live. Well, again, Celeste, our love goes out and you know what I mean? I hope everything works out. Uh, you don't let me know how you're feeling. You can always yeah. message me on WhatsApp. You real play. Right? So, we do yeah, we send, send our, our love. vibration. So, let's send yes. some love for Celeste. And kiss and Celeste hearts. is in quarantine and he has COVID. Yeah. So we want to kind of send some love and some strength in the end. Because all of us, you know, it could be any one of us. Eh? Yes, it can be. So Burn Team sends love, Celeste. Yeah? Much love and tenderness and a speedy recovery. Yeah, 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 young. You're going on with a, a young heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. And more will come. Tell him mm. you're fresh still. <laughs> Yeah? yeah right so moving forward yes so what we see in the mirror so let's so see so let's hot it up so let's see big up musically inclined Brittany long time I see her right Terrence Brittany says he always looks at himself in the mirror yeah well he's take plenty pics eh? ole, ole. in the gym too yeah much love yeah Chica what you just see when you look at yourself in the mirror we are you have to get the people's views. We'll talk about what I see uh, a little later on. Yes. You see why, Tero? We'll no one, no question, she do answer. Yes, I do answer questions. Yes. We well, see him, uh, the people. Moving forward. Yes, we are moving forward. So, for those of you who are not now joining in, body dysmorphia is a mental health disorder. Right, where persons focus on perceived flaws or minor flaws on their bodies. Yeah, so what it can do is it can preoccupy their day because 
they are seeing this floor they may stop mm -hmm. to look at it very often and because they um see find this floor they think that other persons may see it and focus on it as well so what they do is isolate themselves and don't you know go to social gatherings because they believe that people may either laugh at them they may talk badly about them right and you know it is really a serious issue because it can affect how it is one you socialize how it is you you know your day you know how um productive your day is so me and being devil's advocate i would say that um body dysmorphia is not a bad thing because it could i see some ladies out there full of confidence man i i hear what i tell you know there i glad them seeing that lady in the mirror it have some ladies there they they they're very out there and they walk with so much confidence but that is body dysmorphia as well because if you are unhealthy yeah right and we want to focus on your health as well so we're not saying that we classing or we body shaming what we do is that we make a general assessment yeah of, of your health and fitness because that is what we are yeah. right so it have some ladies i see some ladies out there questionable you know but so much confidence so much pizzazz so much oh boy yeah you know and i ask myself is body dysmorphia in that instance in that case bad place in the comment sections and all there give me some kind of information chica what you think I we're talking about say... a 400 pound let me say a 375 and she deck look now it has some have you said girls they could they just deck you know they put on the things and they get out there and they walk and there's so much they, 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 they're very very full of energy full of life but you know they need to come down but that is not hindering them from having a, we say, a positive attitude or just no, over isn't. the top it isn't but what i will say in that case is that um and i don't want to say it will be bad or it will be good but i will say that once it is people have self you know acceptance they accept that you know i'm unhealthy and i need to become a healthier person they will need to have a disorder to recognize that we don't want anybody having any disorders but i understand what you are saying like but we have to you know you have to come to the reality and say hey hit yourself slap yourself <laughs> I am so let's we have to have a discussion eh? we need yeah. to talk message you need board to realize that you are unhealthy message I board have an interruption. i don't know why I don't know. message right? board so Celeste oh, is saying i was 246 pounds i smoked some weed and did intermittent fasting now i'm 200 pounds right hey, now hey boy 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 oh my god <laughs> hey healing that's the we strength that we hope. Here yeah, we're going on. So let's we have a discussion. Right? We don't want to lose weight in an unhealthy way because yeah. the reboundness be bad. Mm -hmm. So losing weight in that type of way is kind of very um, risky because the body will rebound. Yeah. Right? And when the body rebounds, it's rebound hard. Right? So mm -hmm. we will speak. Move it forward. Yes, so, and the other thing is some persons may be really, really thin, mm -hmm. thin, small, they so are anorexia, underweight. Does anorexia, anorexia fall under body dysmorphia? Yes, it will, because what happens, that person who is anorexic and starts, you know, developing unhealthy habits, like after they eat, they, you know, induce what you call, you know, yeah, true. They bring it back up. They bring it back up. They bring it back up. Yeah. That is body dysmorphia because they are seeing themselves as fat or overweight. Ah, I'm just using. You see what Celeste is encouraging? Yes. So. Can this can tell me what you see when you look at the mirror? No, Abby, you are not trying that. Don't play crazy. The rebound is evil. When you see that rebound, you're asking yourself. Trust me. Right? Yeah. Do it right way. Yeah. So, so let's we have aerobics online message really after <laughs> inbox we after oh god i don't imagine celeste the aerobics you'll be whining down the place anyway yeah <laughs> <laughs> i will think about that uh, 
<laughs> right, moving forward. Yeah, so yes, I, there are persons who, as we start at anorexic, they are underweight and they see themselves as being overweight or even obese, morbidly obese, and they do everything in their power <laughs> not to actually look the way that they think that they are yeah. looking. Yeah, so that is very, very unhealthy. Yeah, and it has some other things that. <laughs> so let's. So, so let's say, don't come back and get trouble on the live game. <laughs> so let's, oh God. So let's say goodbye. <laughs> right? So, people, yeah. we don't follow it, so let's at this point. So let's. No, we are not. We will speak. <laughs> we are not following Celeste's so method of weight loss. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. And then we have persons who are actually overweight or obese and they see themselves as being anorexic. Now that is really a serious, serious, serious thing because when you are overweight or obese, what happens and you are seeing yourself as healthy, as maybe even being muscular and fit, right? Um, that, is a, that is the flip side. So can this can I see strong and great work in progress, right? And in saying that, Teron also said that he sees a work in progress when he looks in the mirror. I think yeah. it's a, a continuous work in progress. Yeah. So let's behave. <laughs> so let's say yeah. what I did also. So let's is a lifestyle. So in order to keep yourself lean and in the right body composition is a lifestyle. It's, yeah. it's for life. It's not to just do this, do that, and lose the weight and you're back to normal. It's a lifestyle that has people looking the way they look. Right? Yeah. Moving forward. Another thing. This body <laughs> here. Yes. Um, oh, so let's just say, look at her, how her sexy her pics are. <laughs> Results, results, results. Please do not go and look at Celeste's pics. <laughs> Lad. Celeste, oh you have God. to get your smexy. Celeste, look at the vest and no long smexy. time here come. We have smexy on yes, the inside. Yes. So note you could pour your smexy on here. Yeah. And you could, because we have prizes for the smexiest selfie. Yes, the smexiest. The smexiest selfie is on. You buy a smexie, you take the selfie, you send it to us, we post it, we look at how many likes, how many people like it, and then we decide which picture has the most likes on your page, burn page, and smexie page. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So some features, some of the you know parts of the body that persons are focused on perceived flaws or even minor flaws, one is the face. So we're gonna start with the face. So earlier on we spoke about the nose, right? Where it might have a little well that it could barely see. It I might see with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Right? And as I said, the seat, like if they, they are a witch, you know how yeah. they have the, the portrait the witches with these really With the mole serious. on top of the big yeah. green mole on top of the nose, long, long yes. so. <laughs> right? They see it as that. And what they do, they, you know, they go and do cosmetic surgery and try to straighten it up. Some persons may see their eyes maybe one higher than the next, right? Oh, they find it, it's too far apart. Right, and they think, you know, no people really focusing on that, or they might find that they're clo too close together. Um, some persons may find their ears, some might find it too big, some might find one ears way bigger than the next. Right? Um, another thing, Celeste, you love that, the... <laughs> you love this smexy pick. So, Celeste, there's the challenge for you. You have to order your smexy, right. You have to get your smexy vest. You could wear it however you want. Yes. And you know you crazy. So you might pour on a two-piece thing, wherever. And then you'll send it to us. I will doctor the picture. And then we will po you will post it on your page. We'll post it on Burn page. We'll post it on Smexy's page. And the picture that has the most likes or loves wins. Yes. So, <laughs> Tights and all kind of burn mat. All kind of things. Okay, you'll get things. We go send things at all. Yeah. Yes, we will. 
You go send it at all. Abby, um, Jizan, make sure they enter that competition. Sure enter. <laughs> yeah. Yes, make sure. Make sure they enter, enter that competition. Right, moving yes. forward. So even some persons say look at their teeth. Can they scan? Make sure they enter that competition. Who we have again? We have Kimberly. Kimberly enter. Jazan enter. Candice enter. Yes. The smexiest, smexy photo challenge. We inside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so some persons they may look at their teeth as well. You know, some might find it a little too crooked. We know they are persons you know, because they may have a small jaw, they may have a lot of riders. So, you know, to go and fix all these things. Yes, some people say, take me as I am. You know, if you don't like it, well, okay, that is how, you know, that is me. Right? Nothing but is some, wrong with improving yourself. You had to yeah, fix your teeth, fix your teeth. If you had to lose wrong. some weight to get healthy, lose yes. some weight. Don't just say, I don't like that, take me as I am. Because yeah. you, you remember, if we're in self improving and, and everybody is saying generally, you know, we're work in progress. Big up yourself, Natty. Natty, where you was, how much shift you work in, Natty? Yes, with your belly, just on. that's that's okay. Yes, that will, that will look real good. You'll yes. get real likes for that. Mm -hmm. So, Natty. The topic for today is body dysmorphia. We have this Smexy. So you and all, show the show, show Natalie this Smexy. So here's what's going on with this Smexy, Natty. Here we go, you know. Here is the plan. We have this Smexiest selfie challenge where you order your Smexy, you take a selfie, and the selfie with the most likes from your page, bird page, Smexy page. Wins a lot of freebies, yes. stuff, tights, and clothes, and, and we might write check it if I know. I check my day in the way in the making too. Yes. Yeah. Big so, up yourself. So Vanessa is saying, I don't think I have body dysmorphia. I see things that I could work on. It's a work in progress. So let me ask this question, ladies, as we have ladies on in live, Natty, V, Candice, Abby, Chica. Let me ask a question. What about ladies who get augmentations? Like they want a, a breast lift, a booty implant. They find the booty just not like, you know, the way they want it. What are your views? So in the comment section, ladies, what are your views on breast implants, butt implants, those kind of th things? But, and I'm not talking about going over the top. I'm just saying, like, let's say ladies have children. Yeah. You know, they need to do a little talk. Because maybe, you know, the stomach, the skin. What you guys think about that? Right? And Celeste, so it have TT post. It coming straight to you in quarantine. And taking all that picture of the beach in quarantine. <laughs> However, you want to take it out. While if you want. Big up Miss Greenwich on the inside. <laughs> Yeah, so all those who are interested in this Smexy, it is only $85. <laughs> so if that is before TT Posa. That is before this <laughs> Smexy. Right, so Natty, we can send it straight home or straight wherever you want it. Celeste, we can send it straight in the quarantine section wherever it is. You can take out your picture on the beach with your, 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 you know, your short shorts. However, you want to take it out there. Yeah? So. It is Canada. I see Canada, yeah. We have England versus Trinidad versus Tobago. That is what we're doing right now. So, Jason is saying that she had boob implants and she loves it. Right, and I don't think nothing is wrong with a little enhancement, eh? People. Now, I think there's a difference between enhancement and some people who are addicted to plastic surgery. Yeah. Yeah, so when we're talking about body dysmorphia, we had to kind of bridge the gap now because ladies sometimes they have kids, some things happen, and you know, I don't think it's, it would be an issue to do a little enhancement for that type of cosmetic reason. Yes, yeah. So the message board is a little bit interesting. So, well, we have V from Trini saying if it makes them happy and they are. Healthy with the surgery, I say go for it. And Celeste is saying her mom did a lot of plastic surgery, and she also takes people, both man and woman, to do their bodies. 
<laughs> right. So that is nice. Enhancements. <laughs> so, um, Jazan, what what some of the risks as we unbody this morphia and we have people who have issues? What were before you went for your surgery? What were some of the risks the doctor told you, or are there any? And you know, if you want to share it for maybe ladies on the life who may be thinking about it, you have done it, so you know, maybe know the ins and outs of the thing. Yeah. If you want to share, what are some of the do's, the don'ts, the, the you know, that kind of thing? So Feel that free. will require a voice note. <laughs> Just answer, you can send the voice note right. and explain yeah. what are the maybe side effects, what are the risks. That your doctor explained to you before you went and got the. Uh, so yeah. we have Sonali saying nothing is wrong with it once it makes you happy. Natalie is saying, so I'm all for body work, but make sure it's for you and, and nobody else. Well, that's, that's not fair. If you're doing a little dance, so, so I can enjoy this thing? No, wait, 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 wait. I wait, wait hold that's on. what she meant. Listen. Let me talk man to woman and all kind <laughs> of things in this place. What is the point of you doing a body enhancement? So the, so it can be for the guy too? So, so, so it's, only, it's only for you, alright? So it's you in your room watching yourself lie. No. When a woman do a breast implant or a butt implant, <laughs> you them close the change. If, listen, <laughs> when women do enhancements, them just go shopping uh, to walk the road to show it off. Yes, so, yes. The, so that for you thing, don't get me that. Yes, but I think what, Nat, that. what Natty is saying Natty. is that it's not a man say, hey, why well, you have to go and do this thing. Why can't that say that? Why can't that say um, Why can't say? You know, say, that is what she's saying. Wait, wait, Let wait. it be a personal we'll decision. We'll see later. We'll see later. We'll. So if, if I see in a, hey, you know, you feel you're gonna like to do a little thing I paid for. You want to know it? You want to task it? If, 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 <laughs> if eh, you get a little lift, go, every woman, chica, we just be, every client, everybody in the gym, every woman when they come in the gym, you know I could do it a little lift. So you telling me, the, if the man seeing babes are fine thing, you, you, you want to do a thing? What wrong with that? Just like when you find the man belly getting too wrong. Eh, oi, oi, papa. <laughs> yeah, give me a go and walk now. Go and take a walk. Yeah, so I find you know the guy can say something, but so that's what you think. Alright, so we fit. have we have the voice notes. Good night guys. This is We Talk Live on a Friday. Ah. This is Jason from England. Pick up yourself. Well, I did my boot job seven years ago oh and it was a lot of risk and Hmm. I never in pack of it, but I was quite happy with it, to be honest. But at times people think, oh, why you do that? And you know, I never had boo, so I always wanted that. That was my dream, so yeah. I did it. But it was high risk, but I came out to the tree and I was fine. Everything went well, and up to this day, I had, well, after I had my surgery, I had two kids and I'm a third child now so really never really impact affect me in any way so really uh you know right, right. I, I'm happy with what I did to be honest with you so I will advise people if they want to they can do it because there's no impact and no high risk in it you know so really yeah yes that is so don't say that you're going out there with the risk right and as I said before <laughs> Remember, ladies contemplate this, yeah. right? A guy, I just be devil's advocate, you know me. A guy going and say, chica go at get a job. You know what I mean? Ladies is who just be thinking about it. Yeah. You know I need a little lift. You know I have some extra skin here. And really, man, man, no say nothing like that. Women does see the self, watch yourself in the mirror and find. Hmm. This bra boy, it is fitting good. All you just say it for all yourself and have the thoughts in all your brain. So yeah. the topic for today is... Buddy, there's more fear. <laughs> Big up, Ravi, see each other on the inside, man. Much love, much love. Make sure and hit the share button, people. <laughs> and let the thing get nice so that it is already. Chica. Yes. Next on the agenda. Oh, Lord. Let's be getting lower down on the body. Lower right? down? 
lower down. Right. So we go as we are on the topic of boobs, mm. right? Um, so in reality, mm. one side this be a little bigger than the next side, right? It could be very small and some persons may actually it will be noticeable. Right, so some persons may, you know, even off the playing field <laughs> and um, she can say even, even off the playing field. So and any in the, in the comment section, <laughs> ladies want to really think about this thing. What, what is all your view really on this plastic surgery thing? Because ladies say no, but when they walk down the road, they see it plastic surgery everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Right? So be honest about it. You know, what do you think about it? Yeah. Right, Abby is saying Jezan went where she was paying the pumps. Pumps. No, well, you, pay, you, you have to be able, You want to go to someone who's really professional yeah. you, you know, and actually know what they are doing. Because when you reach lower down into the body, that glute area, the butt, uh -huh. right? We see, you know, we see kind of, of catastrophes up there. Yeah, it's a disaster. Because right? they're injecting and doing all the different kind yeah, of Yeah, you don't want, that's not, what you, that's not what you want. I don't think that's what you want. Right? And even some persons, um, what do you call it? Where the lip? Botox, Botox and lip filler. And nice lip filler. Lip filler. Find out well what you think, eh? Yes. <laughs> right? So I well into this a lot thing. of persons who do a lot of augmentations. So right. Yeah. yeah, but like a full augmentation. It was, isn't about enhancing what they already have or, you know, to enhance their feature. It's like a total change. Right? Sometimes it, it even goes so fast where because they are not pleased or they see so many flaws, they do so many plastic surgeries. Good night, Miss Bina. Good much night. love, much love. Right? So, and then they end up looking really with a lot of because it looks so false, it doesn't look enhanced. So, the topic for today is body dysmorphia. Yeah. And Place in the comment section if you're now joining the live. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Chica J has been very extensive in her explanations. We heard from Jazan, who actually yes. did her, her boobs, you know, who had that augmentation done and went through the surgery. She did share on that. And for ladies who are thinking about it, Jazan said, I mean, it's not that um, hard. Just spend your money in the right place. And she never had it and she wanted it. Yeah. And sometimes that is life. Sometimes we born. What about people who are born with deformities and it's plastic surgery that kind of give yeah. them some sense of normalcy? Yeah. yeah? Big yeah. up yourself, Kenton Francis on the inside. Kenton, hit the share button for me, please. And the other thing, so as we are talking about persons who have, you know, smaller, you know, boobs, we have persons who have big boobs like and who, have, and who have to do reduction. Reduction. Yeah. So we have persons who may need to do reduction. Abby. Abby said, if I had the extra, extra the Nero, I wouldn't mind doing a bit nip and tuck. <laughs> Abby. <laughs> um, you, you see, what people, where, where do we go wrong with the plastic? With the, I like to say gastro is gastro bypass and the nip and tuck for the stomach. You see, we need to understand that any fat that we remove from our body, because if that is the road we're going, if we don't have the lifestyle to support that fat, that is a drastic fat loss. Yeah. That is not your body assimilating the fat. That is you lying on a table and somebody sucking it out of you. Right? And let's say they suck 40 pounds of fat out of you. The skin, the dermis takes a time to, so you'll have excess skin. Mm -hmm. Then you have to take another surgery to tighten back the skin. And then you have to take another surgery. And what you need to understand is that if your lifestyle doesn't match the new weight that you come out of that doctor's office with, you're going to put that fat right back home. Yeah. Moving forward. Yes. For the nip and tuck people. Nip and tuck. So, Lion just touched on <laughs> the stomach area. That's the area the ladies say they want to get. I want to get rid of the belly. Yeah. But what the, I'm a breast and my bottom to remain. That's what they say. Fat, right? Yeah. A lot of women say that. I just want the belly gone. Right? And just re just this morning, I saw that they were doing what is contour and what's it? It's a new thing now. 
people. Right? It, it, it has and nothing more. And a lot of persons, where they say you know they're removing fat and they know the waistline getting um, smaller, and a lot of women jumped on that post. How it is? How much for it? Right? Um, where you getting it done? How it is? How it is feel? Because they want it the fast way, and they are, you know, they are yeah. not pleased with what they are seeing in the mirror, right? So you know, we, you know, we encourage persons to do it the healthy way, right? And okay, so we know persons who would have, you know, they may have had a drastic weight loss, or they had a, you know, so much, you know, fat before, and the skin takes a while, the dermis takes a while to, you know, get back as what we will say intact and they might have a lot of loose skin right so in that case you'll understand somebody they you know now they have a lifestyle but it's just that extra sagging skin some persons may go they get a surgery to remove it but the right so yes so now they have it cover to your contour right so it's rubbish a new, okay listen uh, a thing all right daily brass tax there's the there's the blunt instrument here with all this pretty thing it's rubbish the cryo the cryo with the freezing the fat rubbish the contour rubbish the the sucking of the fat rubbish you want to know why it, everything is rubbish it is better that you lose fat slowly Listen to all the sales pitches for these these yeah. things. Well, Fast. Sonali, now do a, a sales pitch. They only start at fifteen hundred right. a session. Listen <laughs> to me. You paid fifty hundred dollars. It is better that you lose body fat slowly. Let your body adapt. Let the skin adapt as you lose it. Do it the right way. You see, anything not fast, not good, people. Yeah. Fast money, not good. Fast girls, not good. Fast cars, not good. People have to understand. You see, everybody want this thing now. We're in a society where it is a no scenario. You took the time eating all the rubbish to put on the weight. Now do the work. To take it off. Slowly. Yes. Right? People, we need to understand this because... The quick fix don't work. Quick fixes don't work. No, it doesn't. Right? The quick things don't work at all. So we on body dysmorphia? Yes, we are. We so get good, we look at good. Yes. We are the calorie counting mafia, black eyes go that great for all um the guys and girls with the locks out there. The usual suspect on the inside. She catch it there as well. Moving forward. Yes, moving forward. Alright, so let's go to the muscles. Right? We touch any fellas now. Hey. Right? So it's how some persons, well the male, this is more for men in particular, that they have you know they find they don't have enough muscles. They focus on that. So we hear people, where where is he saying? <laughs> I ain't doing um, that one. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, and you know just this morning I'm talking about it. Just this morning. Right, so they want they want to pump, they want to put some blood in it, right? A bill in the arms. A yeah? full in the shirt. A full in the shirt. Mm -hmm. Right, full in the shirt. Yes. So, a lot of times, you know, men, they focus, you know, on the back. They're looking to see if they can get the bicep, you know, a little fuller. Not wrong they, with that. They Rasta forget. Rasta they forget. Rasta. They forget the tricep, but they, they compare. And another thing with body dysmorphia is a lot of comparison. I just so, compare more bodies. <laughs> um, so it happens with women as they may compare, you know, their waist size to someone else's waist size. So we see, of course, the lady, they, they compare the, the boobs. I'll be always if you only men. I'll be what's if you only men. I see any, I see any, yes, yes the, the men. men what about hat? it? <laughs> yes. So it's how we know as and last week we spoke about you know body shapes and body types, right? And we know that some persons, you know, building muscle as Lion always say, it takes a while to build muscle. Well, I mean, it have a lot of steroids and sams and stuff, yes. and that that will just get real big. That is no, quick, see, that is a quick fix. In reality, m m muscle is kind of a weird scenario. Because you see, in, as we were discussing, the guys just discuss this, you know. 
you look on Instagram, what people don't understand, like Instagram and Facebook, right? What you, women as well, when you look at these girls and fellas on Instagram and Facebook, you're looking at the best in the world. I'm talking about genetic wise. Forget the drugs, forget the dysmorphia. <laughs> you're looking at people who are the top in the genetics compressed into one social media platform so you yeah. thinking you could be like them when them is one in a hundred thousand you understand what i'm saying Mo even the, the, the muscle aspect because hey all right all right go and wrestle less much love right growing muscle is not like you just take some steroids and you grow your genetics have to be able to, with your frame, your, your diet, your training, it's not going to lie down and you just get big muscles like that. Right? Much love, Celeste. Right? What is the issue now is that they have guys that have mass and when they look in the mirror, they see themselves skinny. Mm -hmm. It is not a guy who can't put on muscle trying to put on muscle. <laughs> I think yeah, we have to get this thing clear. The clarity with the men and the muscle aspect and the excessiveness in body this morning is a guy who already yeah. looking good mm -hmm. and for nothing he find he looking bad. Yeah. The man when you watch the man, the man cut out, the man belly flat, the man way small, the man looking good and he looking at himself and he's saying mm -hmm. he, he's seeing himself like obese, obese or morbidly obese. So he sees himself like that, and that is the issue when yeah. coming to men. And that they don't have sex, they have masks, they're looking good, but they see in themselves as horrible. Yeah. That is the mind yes. game. Um, Abby said, Yes, Lion, flex for us. What? <laughs> Hello? Abby, Abby, take a time. Abby, we will be Right. And you know, Abby was also saying that you know she likes her men chunky, whether it's muscle or ah, fat. Chunky, Abby. <laughs> Abby, these kind of words, eh? Uh, what is chunky, muscle or fat, chica? I don't know. Abby, Abby said her voice. Don't forget to explain chunky uh, or fat for the or muscle, yeah. Yeah. Right. Moving forward. Yes. Yeah, so you know, but it's really focusing on oh, and once they can pick her up. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Have you used it? <laughs> so, body dysmorphia, as we said, for those who missed it, it is a mental health disorder where persons, you know, put great focus on their perceived flaws or minor flaws right. on their body, right? And it can affect their personal lives. It can even affect their professional lives because they may not be, you know, productive because they are spending time focusing on perceived or minor flaws. And what they also do is isolate themselves, right? Because they are afraid to interact with others. They also, you will find that they have tendencies to compare themselves with others or look for approval from others say my friend i'm asking a whole you know a lot of times so how you find i looking yeah 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 you find this a little and yeah. most of the time when they say you find this looking a certain way is something negative rather than positive okay. yeah so some of the things that can that can help with you know body dysmorphia one is you know mindfulness and take that's why we encourage so why some persons may feel uncomfortable looking at themselves in the mirror Looking at yourself in the mirror can also help you build some confidence. Where you can have, some people may say, oh, that's something crazy, but you can look at yourself in the mirror, you know, speak to yourself, speak positive, you know, words to, you, you know, yourself and look for the, pos look for something that you love about, I'm sure there's something that you love about yourself. You can join support groups, you can may have a friend, somebody that you can confide in, um they even advise that you can get cognitive behavioral therapy that will help you look for more it's dicey big things but certain i know like you say let me bring it back and be devil's advocate and all these different things Why you but to I understand it. You now you know what that i mean i know you you want to say right yeah but the universal when things become complex in this world so you realize we started here too and syllables that have more than five syllables. So listen, 
Basic first word at birth team. So um, the only way you can move forward positively is if you realize you have a problem. Yeah. So the, the all the terminologies and the ideologies and the yeah. So you must realize at some point you have a problem. What you should do is the person that cares about you the most, whether maybe your mother, uh, uh, your best friend, uh, your husband or your wife or somebody who you know would really be honest with you. You want an honest person. Find yourself an honest person and ask them that question. What do you see when you see me? Right? And from that person, draw your conclusions because you are not seeing yourself the way you should. If your markers, I use health markers with myself, right? So I look at my health markers, I look at my weight, I look at my performance, I look at how I'm feeling on a day to day, I look at my energy level. That is how I measure myself. But you do not have that vibration. So you need to confide in someone who would be open and honest with you. And then take it from there because you must realize that you have a problem. If every time you look in the mirror, you see any wrong thing, you have to change that perception. It's your boy lion. And a girl she can change. <laughs> Calorie counted mafia, all black. Yes, yes. Smexy, we reiterated okay, people. Smexy. We have the Smexy challenge, which is who can take the Smexy selfie. Giveaways on the inside, so you have to purchase a Smexy. You have to take a selfie. You have to send it to us. Then we'll send it back to you. You will post it on your page. You'll post it on Smexy page. You'll post it on Bird page. And the, and the picture that has the most likes wins. Yes, so we Cheddar in... versus UK <laughs> versus Tobago. Yes. <laughs> so we just want you all to know that, you know, body dysmorphia is something serious. And you, you all can do the test it's in the discussion section. I will also drop the link in the comment section after the live. You all can do it. If it is, you all realize that... Um, no you know, carnival next see, year. I seem to be... You know, having a challenge here, she you can face, feel serious, free to inbox us. We do, serious, offer, <laughs> we do offer counseling services. You'll have Oi. an air, right? Um, so feel free to inbox us if it is you need to speak. Passion Empowerment will be doing the counseling sessions at the Chica's company. Passion Empowerment is Chica J's counseling company. Yes, so you can just inbox. Yes, and remember, we becoming better versions of ourselves, right? We had some goals for 2021, Abby. and we are going to make it this year. Abby, Jason, Jason, you had to get Mexi. You were stated because we had to get this thing going. I want to start this thing. Yes. Right? Jason, you had to find yourself in the aerobics. Card this card, I see there. Get yourself there. Card this card, order your smexy. Yes, order your smexy. I'm let me get, right. get the competition going. Yes. So we will post the date. You know the time frame to send the pictures. I'll be only having nothing in carnival next year. <laughs> I ain't it having any type of carnival. I'll be carnival in nothing hill next year, what you saying? Let me know if I don't jump on a plane for Nothing Hill Carnival next year. Let tell me, Jazan, how you feeling? How it looking these days? How it looking over there? Nothing Hill Carnival going on or it going on? It all right off. You let me know. Yes. Jump on in, man. <laughs> Can we come to the mafia, man? Ah! <laughs> ah! So it's your boy, Lion. And a good chick We good.